little bit ago, my buddy Phil, Watch Up 69, Mr. Rangeman, did a video on his uh, old Seiko Kinetic Dive Watch, the SKJ model. I thought that looked familiar. Dug around in my old watch box, found mine. And I noticed a few things different about it. So I had to do some research, found out what I got. So now I'm going to reset the camera and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, now this is mine. Classic Seco Connect dive watch. Bracelet. Everything original. But what I noticed on the difference right away is right there. That keeper is a riveted in spike. On fills, it's pressed in from this side so you, uh, you know, a punch out like, and then fold it up. So you got a flat piece here instead of that spike. Then, uh, nice little clasp there. Then there was the face. Now Phil, of course, he's got, uh, I guess you call it the Pepsi face or whatever, you know, the one that's got different colors on it. But he's got the kinetic up top, and there's a little symbol down the bottom there. I guess it's supposed to mean kinetic or something. On mine, the kinetic is on the bottom, and there's no symbol. So I had to do some research, which is always fun when you got nothing better to do when it's raining. And what I've got here is the SMY model. This is the final model of the Kinetic Dive Watch. Now the case and everything is all the same. The difference is on the innards. They put a different mechanism in there and a different capacitor battery that gives you longer life and so forth. But as far as the case and the bracelet, it's all the same. Now this thing is they stopped making these, well, 20 years ago. And this one, uh, after 20 years, it, it won't hold a charge. I can get it up to a full charge, but it'll discharge fairly fast. Get a few days out of it. So it's time to put a new capacitor battery in it. And Phil was nice enough to find one, uh, the model number I got to order. So we'll see how that goes. So while I'm here, I'm going to do a little size comparison. There you go. Next to Garmin Fenix 6 Pro. Fenix is slightly bigger and weight is pretty close. The Seiko feels a little heavier probably because it's got the metal bracelet on it. There's the brick. The Casio GPR B1000. 
And Seiko still feels a little heavier. Pretty close to the same there. So anyway, they stopped making kinetic dive watches. So what did they replace it with? There you go. Solar dive watch. And you can see they've pretty much exactly the same. The solar is a little bigger. I've got the NATO strap because I don't like bracelets. But there you go. Oh, and this one's got a, a Cyclops on it. Some like them, some don't. I don't care. I can see it. Okay. I prefer doing my videos on these out here in my backyard. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Have fun.